Shane Bettencrum is here tonight. Shane, can you come up? Um, uh, thank you for sharing Tom with us, number one. Linda, um, how did you get involved in this project? And But I want to tell you, Shane, we had a, a, a slogan in the very beginning of uh, the gay liberation movement that said, an army of lovers will not lose. And that's up on the screen. So, Linda, how did you get involved? In regard to what you just said, I totally agree with that. I think all of the arguments have been made, and all of the intellectual arguments, all of the religious arguments, all of the philosophical arguments, it's like abortion. Everybody's entrenched. Everybody thinks they've made up their mind. But I think the only thing that will move people now is going to come from cinema. Um, so I want to get involved in this because I had met Shane and Tom at a wedding, coincidentally, a few years before Tom died. Uh, we had a mutual friend. They sat at my table. I did not know them. I fell in love with them that night. I thought they were, were the most charming, winning couple. And I remember saying to my husband on the way home, gee, I really hope they do get married someday because there was something special there. There was a real connection. Then, um, you know, I found out that Tom died, which I was devastated about. Even though I didn't know him well, I just saw the promise of their love. And, uh, then I heard how he was treated, then I saw the YouTube video, so I called him and Shane came in to my office and I had only done political documentaries. I did all of President Clinton, by the way, introduced your the next screening, um, but so you're, uh, he introduced the film the first night here. We're very proud of that. I made all of President Clinton's films, starting with The Man From Hope and A Place Called America and Legacy. Um, and so um, I, I joked with him that you know, Shane had more material. He had more. He had more.